Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome back to Channel Your Light, Own Your Intuitive with myself, Erin Chandler. I wish to open my heart and my spirit to each and every one of you. I've been divinely called and guided to ensure that everyone understands the importance of protecting your energy. And when I say protecting your energy, it's moving from within. So without, this means embodying our energy to the nth degree. The reason this is coming out right now actually is because of the awareness that as we move through the ascension process, as we move through transcendence and integrations, as we move through our different phases of the different dimensional aspects, what that actually means and why the spiritual journey and the journey to a holding of the self is a very internal job. Why that must be so. Here on the earth plane, this collective consciousness has a fluidity of thought forms and energy, both of light and high frequencies and of darker, lower frequencies. Both of these things are at play. In addition, we are consistently being impressed with thought forms, imagery, energy, a whole bunch of different waveforms and frequencies, because that's what all of those are, that are not for our highest good, that are intended to distract us. They are intended to create confusion. And in addition, they create an interference and an electromagnetic interference. And it takes away from the ability of each and every one of us to create sovereignly. I want to say not just create sovereignly, but to be in complete balance in our own energetic fields, to have total control over our own minds. And in addition, it definitely takes away from our ability to co-create with the divine. And I say this because your divine connection, this is a very potent message for somebody on here. Your divine connection is your greatest weapon. Your greatest strength is your ability to receive intuitive guidance and nudges. Your greatest truth comes from within you, your higher self, the divine. This is why we are conditioned, continually conditioned, continually projected at with negative thought forms, with fear, with darkness. This is also why we have still on this earth plane such an enormous amount of dark experiences and trauma. We work from the inside out because when we fulfill the embodiment of the inner I am presence, the fifth pillar in the fifth dimensional aspects, this means we have transcended the fourth dimension. That's the purpose of the fourth dimension is to transcend transcend. Once we have transcended an experience that we have expressed, understood, and integrated, you may call this the wheel of karma, we then move in the, into the transcendent state of it. To transcend something means that it can no longer enter your energy, negatively impact you, take you down, and that is when you move into the ascension, into the next level, into the next dimension, into a graduating to a new school of thought, a higher frequency, spiritual capabilities, all of these different things. Every time we clear our energy, and this is super important, friends, particularly because so much of the veil has been thinning. A lot of you are awakening to truth. This means seeing truth, not the pretty truth that we all wish it would be, but the absolute truth on this earth plane and what exists. Some of you are seeing the facades. Some of you are breaking down the matrix. Some of you are realizing that you have access to the divine within you. You have access to your guides, animals. You have access to the angelical realms. You have mediumship. You might see that you can start moving energy. You're going to see how your thoughts literally create things in real time. Many, many, many people are awakening to this at this time. Many of you have been awakened for quite some time, a number of years, attuned and aware of this. 
just as we have three waves of volunteers, we also have waves of people awakening. The next wave of souls is almost green light planetary commission, almost ready. There is just a few little tickers left in order to fulfill this next wave. And it is already done. It cannot be stopped. It is uh, there will be an onslaught of spiritual gifts that you will all experience. You may feel like you are in the zone or you may feel like you're experiencing multiple realities at the same time. It is of utmost importance when we have a spiritual journey where we suddenly have access to higher dimensions, we understand what's going on with our higher selves at the same time that we're embodied in our physical self, because that's what ascension is. It's embodying your higher self in the physical realm on the 3D plane so we can anchor and root the fifth dimension here in the physical embodiment. New Earth friends, New Earth portals, things like that. This is important because... Our energy is fluid. We're all created from the same energy. If thought forms create energy, and for those of you who have been targeted, I want you to stop and think about this. If words create worlds, it's the stamp and the seal. If your words are your wands, and if your thought forms are the very things that create the inner landscape as within and the outer, so without. If that is true, and many of you know this is true because you have experienced it. It is your divine right to be the creator of your own world and have those experiences and learn from them. Yes, some of us are learning from the things we are creating. But there's also another important aspect here. The reason we are conditioned to be disconnected from our divine selves, why we have thoughts implanted into our energetic fields, why we have people manipulating energy is because thoughts create things. It's because you are all creators of your own world. So if thoughts create worlds, and if your thoughts trigger emotions or imagery or things like that, you need to be very, very clear, my friends, on exactly what it is that you want to create. When we clear our energy, it becomes clearer every single time when something that's not in alignment is not ours or our intuitive gifts get very clear. This is because the more we clear our energy, the clearer it is what's ours and what someone else's. When you have a spiritual awakening, you will become highly attuned to what is your energy and what is someone else's. This also includes what are your thought forms and what are someone else's. This also includes divine beings of light and of dark because both exist. This includes the fact that the more you clear your energy, the more your frequency upgrades, up levels and changes. This means that you suddenly become more aware of differentiating between these things. And this is necessary on an intuitive journey. One of the things that most people don't teach is the need to differentiate unless you went to a mystery school or you went to uh, learn from the hidden secret societies or the occult systems or something to that effect. The general public has no idea that all of this is taught. The woo-woo that we all think is woo-woo and we're taught as just silly or crazy or in our imaginations this has actually been taught for thousands upon thousands of years. It creates worlds. It is powerful beyond measure. And every single one of you have this. It's very important that you clear your energy, particularly around the new moon cycles. We are going to talk about this in depth. It's upcoming in the dark energy series. So please make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. That is coming soon, my friends. I am very, very excited for that information to be shared with a lot of people who need it at this time. Clearing your energy is of the utmost importance so that you have clarity. That's why we clear our energy. It's not necessarily about clearing our own things. Sometimes it's about clearing the energy of other people, the interferences, the words spoken at us, over us, to us, or through us. The overshadow that we experience that makes our divine connection feel cut off. The inner shadow, the inner doubt, all of those things, they all play a role. So stop and think about this. When I talk about clearing our energy, yes, I am the light. Yes, I am here to shine absolute unconditional love and high frequencies. 
I am here to do that, friends. Part of the way that I have to do that is to illuminate with that high frequency light the things that are stopping us, that are limiting us from actually stepping into our ascensions, from actually being able to manifest the things that we want to manifest. You have to be aware that we're a collective consciousness, which means I am you and you are me. And what you do can affect me and what I do can affect you. When I am embodied in my fifth dimensional I am presence, my ability to differentiate between what is mine and what is someone else's becomes very pronounced. This is what all of you are working towards or working through. Some of you are still cleaning up karmic lessons. Use the energy. Move in the quantum field to do this. Clear your energy continually. Come back to within because your answer is there. And this is twofold. I'm hearing Ava says, yes, mom, it's twofold. Twofold why we clear our energy and we go within. Why this is so powerful. Because when you go within, that's the place that you need to differentiate and discern. Is this even my energy? Are those even my thought forms or is that somebody else? You have to be able to differentiate that and be balanced, whole, rooted, trusting in the self. Your house of self is the key to anything we do on this earth plane. It is the key to why you are here. Everyone talks about the chosen ones. I have gotten so many channels and in all honesty, my friends, I have shared very, very few of them. But I want to tell you, if you're incarnated here in a physical body, perhaps that's because you were chosen because creator doesn't make junk and we all serve a purpose. And each of us has a very specific purpose that only we can do because it's our purpose in our avatar because we were chosen and chose to incarnate here on the earth plane. For those of you who are struggling to find your mission, for those of you who are struggling to find your light, for those of you who feel like you want to give up because it's really difficult, go within the twofold part of this. Ava is saying, go back, mom. We need to talk about the twofold aspects of why we go within. It is because your divine connection resides within you. It is not outside of you. It is not in a church. It is not in a building. It is not in a relationship with someone else. It is within you. You must cultivate this first in order to cultivate that because we have been conditioned on the earth plane. Most individuals have been conditioned to disconnect from their divine intuitive contact, their understanding of the power within them. They are disconnected from this in order to create slavery of a sense in many senses. Aaron would like to add to that. <laughs> That's okay, mom. That is correct. This is truth be told. It creates a slave effect. I can no longer be a sovereign individual who is creating the world that I wish to create. If I am a slave to a system or to other people's wants and desires, most of us don't even know that that is within our inner landscape. This is why moving within is so imperative to fold it is a journey within because that's where the answers lie. This is your house of self. In order to understand what's negatively impacting your energy, you must go within. You must be able to see clearly within you what is negatively impacting you. What is yours? What is somebody else's? All of those different things. This is where you access the past, the present, and the future. This is where you manifest in the present moment. Your I am presence embodied is required to do these things with clarity, with consistency, and with total empowerment. Some of you are asking what your purpose or your mission is. It's you. You are your purpose and your mission. Once we move through a transcendence of something, it no longer impacts us and we move to the next level or the next dimension. As I said earlier in this channel, this is imperative because once we have transcended something, we no longer go back. We learn the lesson. We move around the circle again. This moves into the ascension state. If we never transcend things, we never had understanding or integration. We will never move to a fifth dimensional consciousness or understanding. The third dimension is reconciling the first and the second dimensions. This also has come through in many, many channels. Whether you are operating in fifth dimensional consciousness through the quantum fields, moving and transmuting energy, or you're on the 3D earth plane, doing things in the physical aspects, making shifts and changes in the physicality of things. Both of these things are required. We have 
kind of separated the third dimension and the fifth dimension, not realizing the third dimension is required for the integration and understanding so that we may move through the fourth dimension of transcendence and ascend into the fifth dimension. What is ascension? It is simply a graduation from one school of thought to a higher frequency, more evolved school of thought. It is transcending the earth plane, the earthly things that negatively impact. It is moving from karma to dharma. There are many different ways that you could describe this, understand this, Every spiritual teaching from every guru you probably have ever heard or ever met through the time-space continuum, there is a common thread in all of it, my friends. The divine and God lives within you. You are epically powerful. The only way you don't know this and the only reason that we do not know this is because we were intentionally conditioned, redirected, distracted and those who woke up most of them got targeted because when we're creating our own worlds it's one thing to be fighting your own demons and learning your karmic lessons but there are people on this earth plane and not a lot of them i will say that a lot of them who they're not just fighting their own demons they're fighting the flow through from other people they're fighting additional things that have been placed on top of them that aren't even theirs and they don't even know it wake up i'm hearing wake up There is a lot of things at play. Everything that we think isn't true, the fact that somebody spoke it into existence means it's true somewhere in the collective consciousness. It may not be true in your world and it may not be true for you, but I'm looking at the whole picture, my friends. I'm seeing the good, the bad, the ugly, the infinite, the high frequencies outside the planet, in the planet, in the inner earth, in the higher selves on the regular things. To see all of these things is to acknowledge and to recognize that they all exist in some way, shape, or form. Just because it doesn't exist on this side of the earth does not mean it doesn't exist on the other side. This is taking the whole picture. It is looking at things from all dimensions. It's very important that we clear our energy because there is a lot of flow through. This is a year of... People doing a lot of shadow work because the light has been illuminated. People are coming forward. Truth is being spoken. This means every time something is illuminated, every time, friends, every time a darkness is illuminated, the darkness is filtering up and out. For those of you who are highly sensitive beings, who are highly attuned, who are awake and understand what's going on behind the scenes that the majority of people aren't aware of yet. Yet is my keyword there, friends. They're not aware of it yet. Again, Ava says, the next wave of souls is almost ready. Be prepared. As we illuminate things that have happened in the dark, a lot of darkness comes up and out with it. This means those of you who are highly sensitive, you may sense this and be like, what is that wonky energy? This is happening across the earth plane. There is no continent that will not be affected. There is no area of the earth plane that will not be affected by these changes and by these illuminations. Every time something is illuminated from the dark, that energy comes up and yes, you will sense it. This is why it is imperative that we always clear our energy. We root and ground, transmuting and sending back to the light anything that is not ours. Your ability to discern that it's not yours is the key. If you don't discern what is and isn't yours, it it can become attached to you, intertwined with you, quantum entanglement. You'll be distracted from the thing that you're meant to be doing. These are all the different aspected pieces and parts that can affect so many of us. Every time we clear our energy, every time we move within, because that's where our evolution happens. Ava says, (laughs) Ah, humbled, totally humbled right now by my daughter. Ava says, when we embody our fifth dimensional consciousness here on the 3D earth plane, The earth plane automatically changes. Many people are standing up right now. There is a general consensus in the awakened collective consciousness that it is time to speak the truth. And each and every one of us that speaks a truth, whether it is in the quiet of the room and no one hears them, or whether it is on a stage, 
speaking to millions of people. Both are equally effective and ripple out through consciousness. There is no thing that is too small. Every small action, word, thought, and energy that you do has an effect on the earth plane and the collective consciousness. We do not see that. There is a lag time. Remember, thoughts become things. Thoughts become things. We want the things that become are the things that uplift us, the things that empower us, the things that bring joy, the things that bring fairness and equality. We want the things that lift us up and allow us to actually create that which our soul yearns to create. It's important to clear your energy, friends. I want you to be able to have the life that you have dreamt of. You have dreamt of a specific life for a reason because it is possible for you to root it on the physical plane. What makes it difficult for that possibility to be made into a reality is if we are continually bombarded with other people's energy, with those who do dark magic, spell casters, everybody's going to be slightly different, the thing that's negatively impacting them or making it difficult for them to walk their path. Every time you clear your energy, it will become clearer and clearer and clearer. What and whom is impacting you, distracting you. You begin to see yourself. You begin to be able to make choices that are for your highest good rather than being pushed and pulled all these different ways. This is a very important message for somebody right now. And I know, friends, I often say something is very important. Let me tell you, says my guide, Ellen, when she has her finger in my face. And she's saying, let me tell you. And the divine is saying, this is a very important message. It's because it is. It's because there's somebody on here that needs to hear it. I don't care if it is one person or it is 500 of you. It's very important for somebody to know your energy. You must go within. Always focus on your energy first because your thoughts become things. That is why clearing energy is so important. It's why rooting and anchoring is of the utmost important, particularly the empaths, particularly the intuitives who are skilled and working with people, particularly the healers. When you are working with healing other people, you can pick up the residue of other people's energy. Right now, there is like an unfurling and unraveling of things. It's going to feel unsettled, my friends. We all have the capacity to balance, to root, and to ground. Please clear your energy. Please make time for you. If you are tired, rest. Your world is not going to crumble because you took a minute to rest. It's not. Everything is moving forward based on you because it's your world. This means if you need to take a moment to rest, don't worry. There are a ton of other light workers who are also working and will pick up the slack and just did a resting. Now they have optimized energy, so they're going to pick up the slack. Everybody's is going to be slightly different. Clearing your energy allows you to know what's best for you and not what is best for somebody else to have you do for their benefits. Because there's a big difference. There's a difference between helping people because you're genuinely helping them and you care and helping somebody because it's distracting you from your own thing or it's pulling on your energy or creating codependency. Clearing our energy is such a, an important aspect of who we are. It's our house of self. It's where everything comes into place. It's where our emotions are, our thoughts are, our memories, the past, the present, and the future is in the house of self in this moment right now. I don't know about you, friends, but I would like mine to be very clear. I do not want to create something that is not in alignment for me. I do not want my energy pulled by somebody else, and I'm always creating for someone else and not for myself for the betterment of me. Some of you are asking, I don't know what my journey or my mission is. It's always going to begin with you, says Ava. You will always be your divine purpose and mission because you cannot do a mission for other people if you have not or acknowledged or accepted or looked within and understood that that mission you think you're looking for outside of you, actually the answer is inside of you. There is no mission that you can do if you don't recognize that you're the vessel of your mission. We're taught to look outside of us for a reason. If we knew how powerful we are, this world would not look the way that it does today. This is the great awakening. 
understanding and recognizing. Yes, we are all one and we are all interconnected. There is nothing that is unseen. Nothing. No thought, no deed. Everything is seen by the divine. There is no hiding, my friends. There is pretending. There is avoiding. There is attempting to disconnect. We've all done that at some point or another, whether it's a truth we didn't want to face, whether it was a denial of self, whether it was not wanting to be accountable, not wanting the lesson, whether it's blaming. We've all, we've all at some point experienced those things in some way, shape or form. And that's not because we're bad people. It's not because we're doing it wrong. It's because we're learning those lessons. You are the divine incarnate. Your house of self is the most important aspect of your mission. I'm being told again, it's very important that all of you make sure that you clear your energy, that you ground into the physical body and you take care of you. There is no shortage of people that need help on the earth plane right now. No shortage, my friends. You must take care of you. You must find spaces to breathe. You must find uh, steps of joy places of joy, the subtle, the small things, find the divinity and the sacredness in those and your peace, your inner peace will be rejuvenated. Make yourself a sanctuary within you is what I am hearing. Create the sanctuary within you. You're the home. You're the house of self. You're the divine. Clear your energy and you will begin to find much more inner peace, much more clarity and the divine will be talking loud and clear. And I'm hearing, and it's going to be okay. Well, dear friends, that is the intense messages that have actually been coming through. I want to say for the last 10 days, um, that's been a mixture, a compilation of some of them. And I hope that it resonated. I trust that this will reach exactly who it needs to reach. Let me know in the comments, claim it claim that I have clear energy. I am powerful. Claim those things, my friends. We so often look to the negativity and we do not want to claim those things. We can accept them to deal with them, but we do not accept them to accept that that's all there is. Then that's all we can be. We are only accepting them so that we can deal with them, integrate and understand them, and then transcend them. That's what it, the purpose of acceptance is. It is not to accept the status quo. It is to accept what is so that we can create more, transcend it, do more, be more, have more. Claim that. Claim in the comments everything you are, everything you want, whether it is I am statements. It doesn't matter what it is. If you want it, it can be yours. Otherwise, why would you want it? And make sure it's what you want and not what you've been conditioned to want as well. This is a very exciting time, my friends. There is awesome channels coming through. I am over the moon about all of the things that are taking place. As truth comes out, it ultimately will all be used for embodiment of fifth dimensional consciousness. We will transcend that. It is written. And of course, if you wish to book a private intuitive reading mediumship, intuitive guidance, higher frequency, soul purpose, and mission, you can do that on my website. The link for that is below www.aaronchandler.com. If you feel like you need a good, deep, spiritual, quantum, energetic cleanse, definitely have a whole new experience and move on to the next level. You can find the link to book a quantum spiritual clearing below. Until next time, beautiful souls, I am wishing you much love, light, peace, and transcendence through this ascension process.